Hello, hello, and welcome to Sunny's Be Orders channel. So, I'm looking crazy, right? I already know I'm looking crazy. I know how I'm looking. I know I'm looking cray cray right now. And what I did, I did my brows off camera. Okay, so y'all know I'm always trying new things and discovering this, that, the other. So, the crave was this gel, this gel sponge or this gel cushion or whatever you want to call it. I picked this up from my local Dollar Tree. I wanted to see could I apply my foundation with it. I have gone ahead already to do my brows, which I'm going to show you that technique of doing your brows as well as concealing around your eyes as well as under your eyes before you apply your makeup, especially if you're over 40 years old. Okay. So I just took it out the package. This is how it's looking. Feels pretty good. On the back side, it has like a self-adhesive if you was going to put this inside of your shoe. We're not going to take that off. This side right here feels pretty good. Now I'm hoping this going to work because all my sponges are dirty. I have not washed any of my sponges. So I'm going to shake up my foundation color. I don't even know if this is still going to be my color because I haven't used any foundation in a minute. I know I'm looking crazy. It's going to come together though. Don't beat me up too bad. Okay, so I will be using this Clinique number 23. And this is a matte color, water-based foundation. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try it. We're going to see will it work. Now, instead of placing the foundation on my face, I'm going to put it on the tip of this. That's good enough. Feels pretty good, though. Feels really, really good. That is the gel side right there. So I'm going to take my foundation color, 23, Clinique, and I'm just going to place it on top of here. I'm just going to place it on here like this. I don't want to put too much. It looks like that. So now I'm going to try to work this in my skin. And that is too much. I've already primed my face. Sonya, what you thinking so far, girl? Tell us something, girl, because you ain't saying a damn thing right now. It's real slippery. different girl because this right here damn I'm going to take the back side off and just fold it the damn gill up like a, look like a hot dog but her, yeah I think that's going to be better because right now girlfriend uh, I look like that damn clown that Tyler used in uh Medea Halloween right now. This is not working. Uh, hell no. All of my sponges are dirty too. I don't know. Give it a try, Sonny. Just take your time with it. Okay. Hey, there you go. Hey, look at that. Ooh, that hurt. Don't beat me. Don't be beating on me now. Um, I mean, it's still spreading, but my thing is, Overall, I'm going to need a damn brush. Now I got to figure out what I'm going to do. Always try something new. You see what the hell happened? We need to try something new. But sometimes you have to try something new in, in order to find out if it's going to work. Um, I hate to use this brush. Let me find another brush. We're going to redo some things. 
because it's, I don't know. Maybe you can use it to apply it just a little bit. Not too bad. We'll keep going. Let's see what happens. Because I normally put my makeup on with a brush. All right, now I feel like cat for y'all. Is my nose running? Hold up. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, too, too bad. I'm going to keep going. We ain't going to use no brush. We're going to just see how it turns out. Yeah, how about that? Okay. Okay. If you're going under your eyes, gotta fold it right there. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on here. I don't wanna overdo it. Just put a little bit more on here. And the thing about it, when you're using this kind of stuff, it's like you don't. You don't have to use it much. A little bit goes a long damn way. Close my eyes here so I want to see it. How about that? What the hell? I'm just gonna close my damn eyes. I know it'd be a surprise for the both of us. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit more on this left side. That's all I'm gonna do is a skirt. I'm casket ready. Yeah, I feel casket ready, y'all. Give me blue. Give me blue casket. I'm about that. Okay. This is how I'm looking. What you think? Let me know. Don't be too harsh on me now. You be too harsh. I'm coming back for you. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna look in the mirror of my stuff and see. I'm gonna hide. Put some, put a little color on my eye. Crease like a mud. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on That's the only thing I hate about makeup. When I put it on, it makes my nose itch really, really bad. So I guess I'm, you can say I'm allergic to it. I don't know. Take my press powder and apply it on top. I don't know. Y'all look like it's kind of blending. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. I can't really tell. I'm looking at the camera. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of eyeshadow on and we'll come back and just see the finished results and we'll just assess this disaster or it is a great idea in a moment. See you in a minute. Okay, so this is the finished, this is the finished results. I'm looking cray cray. What I did, I went ahead and put me some pressed powder on using this MAC NC50, which is really like a foundation to press powder. I put on top of it. Now, if you want to experiment as well, you can. But I will say this, if you're gonna use this little uh, silly sponge or this, um, in my case, this is a cushion for your shoe. If you're gonna use this, you only need just a little bit of makeup, a little bit. But this is a lot of makeup that I have on, a lot. And I think I'm getting to the point where I really can't wear makeup because now that I've kind of perfected my skin, I don't be want to put the stuff on the way. Unless I'm going somewhere special. Might as well put a little blush to make it come on together, huh? Just a little bit, just a little bit. 
And if you're taking pictures, okay, fine. Do your makeup or whatever the case may be. But to wear this stuff every day, y'all, especially in the summertime, this is not where it's at, okay? Have fun with it. Try it out. You may like it, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with my primer. This is one of the primers that I, Scandinavia. We're going to talk about these different primers. Because when I tell you I got primers, primer, primers, I got primers every damn well. We're going to see what the purpose and which one is really the best one to use. But right now I want to spray my face because I do have some dryness on this side. So I'm going to take that, shake it up. Because inside of here I mixed it. I know you said, damn, son, you gonna wash all that off. But no, honey. <sighs> but no, I can't wear makeup like I used to. Y'all see that damn, hell yeah. See that damn dry over there. Uh-huh. I'm coming up slowly but surely, okay? This is it. Nowhere to go. Go ahead and watch this off when this video is over, okay? Just want to do something different, have a little fun. But I went ahead and I applied, like I said, I used this NC50. This is the foundation to uh, press powder. I haven't used MAC in a long time, which I just picked this up because it used to break my skin out really bad. So now that I'm older, I said, okay, let me try it again. I'm going to always use my Clinique foundation. This is a mattifying water-based foundation. I love this stuff. I've been using this for years. And I kind of want to change to try to change that didn't work out. Sonya, that's not what this video is about. Let me get back on track so I can get off this camera, okay? I just cleaned this just to see what it come clean. It came clean. And guess what? It's still sticking on the other side. No, I ain't lying. I ain't even lying. Okay, let me. I ain't lying though. I'm not lying. Look, I ain't been up. Look. So I, I cleaned it. I cleaned it with some of this here. With some of this dove. I love this stuff. They sent me a sample of this to do a survey on it. Yeah, that's some of this. Wow, dude. You ain't gonna tell me. Okay. But yeah, I cleaned it with this. Look. So if it works out for you, you can clean it. Put it in your shoe. Or hell you. See, I'm always bringing you all these great deals that you can recycle. You can use for something else. Because who would ever thought to try this on your face, okay? Everybody was doing something crazy, so I figured, let me try this. A dollar? A pair? Come on now. You can't beat that. But, um, I think I'm going to put some, put some, some saran wrap on this side so it stays sticky. And these going in my shoes, so it's not a wasted dollar. So go by your local Dollar Tree. Pick this up. This is a gel ball cushion inserter for your shoes. Ladies, you don't need one, just one. Just have a little fun. You and your daughter do it together. That was the plan. Deja and I was gonna do it together, but she all up in her field, and so I'm solo, okay? But I hope you've enjoyed the time we'll share together. And let me know what you think. Is it a go or is it a no-go? Or as I always say, is it a great deal or a wasted dollar? So I hope you've enjoyed the time we'll share together. Until